What's up guys, welcome back to Comic Swag, it's your boy Mike. Today I'm going to give you a quick and simple review of Middle West, written by Scott Young, artwork by Jorge Corona. Now if you enjoy this, you like the writing, Scott Young did the writing for I Hate Fairyland, and he did a lot of the artwork, and he also wrote Rocket Raccoon, so you might want to give those a try. Jorge Corona is uh, currently doing the artwork for Bad Girls. The story is okay, but the artwork is pretty good. If you like them together, I'd recommend picking up the trade paperback for The Me You Love in the Dark. It comes out in March. It's by Image Comics. It's a five-issue mini. Scott Young did the writing, and Jorge Corona did the artwork on that. Phenomenal job. So pick that up when it comes out. Now let me give you my thoughts on Middle West in a nutshell. So what did I think of Middle West? It is fantastic. It's a must-read. You have to pick it up. The writing was done very well. The artwork is freaking gorgeous, and the message behind the story was executed very well. Now, the person you see right here on the cover, his name is Abel. Behind him is his father, Dell, that weird tornado monster you see. And Abel is pulling something called Heart of the Storm. Let me put this down real quick, and I'll tell you how all that comes together in just a minute. Now, um, Abel and his dad have a horrible relationship. It wasn't always like that. One day, the mom ends up leaving, and from that point on, Abel's dad was just emotionally abusive to Abel. Treats him like crap day and night. One day, Abel was caught stealing some stuff. His dad has to go pick him up from the sheriff's office. When they get home, they get into this big argument. Now, let me show you the type of person uh, Dell is. He ends up telling Abel, me and your mom used to love each other. We had a great life before you. You came along. You ruined everything. Your mom left because of you. Who the hell tells your kid that? Dell does. Pretty jacked up. Abel tells him some stuff back, and uh, Dell snaps, and he turns into that weird monster. And at first you think Abel just sees his dad as this weird, angry, tornado type of person, right? But no, he physically turns into this monster. He ends up destroying the town they live in, and Abel runs for it. There's a train that is passing by, so he's running fast as he can. He jumps on the train, and as he's in the air, Abel's dad reaches out, touches Abel, and imparts into him what he is holding, Heart of the Storm. It's basically like a birthmark that uh, sticks onto his chest. So from that point on, you think it's going to be a story about this kid who ran away from home is going to end up finding out, you know, what he's going to do with his life. But it's more than that. Through this journey, we end up finding out that Abel's family suffers from emotional abuse for quite a long time. His grandpa was abusive to his father. Obviously, Dale was abusive to Abel. And through this journey, um, Abel turned into that weird tornado monster a couple of times. And, you know, he just wants to break the cycle of anger that has been devastating his family for quite a bit of time. So that's what it's about. He goes on this journey to just finally break that cycle of anger that just, you know, plagued his family for quite a bit of time. And, man, I can't stress this enough. Pick it up. Really, really good book. Now let me crack it open and show you some of this beautiful artwork. All right, guys, let me show you a couple of pages of this beautiful artwork, and we'll wrap it up. Check it out. Love the colors. Artwork is great. Can't stress that enough. Let's continue. This was a cool part right here. This old man right here named Jebediah ends up rescuing Abel when he jumps on that train because there was some bad people on it. Very nice artwork. Um, right here, this fox could talk to Abel and talks to other people. It's kind of a trippy world. There's trolls and all. Oh, speaking of trolls, look right here. There's trolls, you can turn into tornadoes. I'm not sure what type of world this is, but it's a pretty crazy one. Oh, this is a pretty jacked up scene. Like I mentioned, his dad's pretty abusive. Here's one of the scenes where it's pretty jacked up. His mom supposedly ends up saying I'm a bike. And um he's pretty excited. He kind of mentions, like, oh man, perfect timing. Uh, my bike's a piece of junk. My mom sent me a bike just in the perfect time. His dad snaps and just busts up his bike. This brand new bike, it just opened it. He just destroys it. Not cool. <laughs> Pretty jacked up. Here's kind of a flashback, a memory. Pretty nice. Really like this. Let's do another page or two and we'll wrap it up. Here we go. This is uh, Bobby. His friend Bobby ends up trying to go and rescue uh, Abel because they kick him out of the camp because he ends up destroying it. But they want to go get him and bring him back. This is his grandpa. This is kind of how you figure out that he wasn't such a, a good grandpa. And let's wrap it up right here, guys. Pretty nice. And that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review. 
Like, subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff if you can. We greatly appreciate it. Peace out, people.